The question is, if shaker hand observes an increase in cutting size and shape at shaker, then they must inform mud engineer first, then the driller. So this is the question. So first of all, what is the cause of change in cutting shape and size? We need to understand. Now, whenever formation pressure is increasing, so what will happen? It will start giving us some indications that are called warning signs. Warning sign of increase in formation pressure. So those warning signs are first ROP will increase, then cutting shape and size will change. And then torque will increase because of bigger size of cuttings and uh, temperature of flow line and well temperature will increase because the pressure is increasing. Then the written gas percentage, it may be a connection gas, trip gas or a background gas, all type of gas in the well bore will increase. So this indicate that well bore pressure is increasing or formation pressure is increasing. As a result, the overbalance is decreasing. So whenever we see this type of changes, then we have to inform driller because he is the one person who is going to take action. So we have to inform driller so that he will space out and make a flow check and find out whether the well is flowing or whether the well is static. So if well is flowing, then he has to shut the well. And if well is not flowing static, then he has to increase the mud weight. So he will coordinate with the mud engineer and ask him to increase the mud weight. So whenever we see any warning sign, it may be shape and size change of the cuttings or it may be increase in torque or it may be increase in ROP or it may be increase in temperature of the well bore. Then we have to first inform driller because he has got an authority to shut the well. So answer is false.